Stretch and Strengthen. My name is Erica Connor, and this is produced by Solutions Northwest. Please consult your physician before beginning any exercise program. Today we're going to work on strengthening your core and releasing low back tension. So we're going to begin standing and working on the hamstrings and the low back, and we're going to begin with strengthening them. Um, if you're going to need support for low back, you can have a tall chair or a tall desk nearby for some arm support. So I'm going to be facing the chair here. Legs are going to be straight, not locked or hyperextended, so some softness to the knees. I want you to keep your belly muscles engaged to your spine. Nice, tall, neutral position. Your pivot point is going to be at the hip socket, not in the waist. So keeping the spine straight, hands out for support. You're going to take an inhale and pitch your body forward, just pivoting at the hip joint. And then here, if you need a little help, you push with the hands gently to bring your body back up to straight. So you're going to inhale, pitch forward, nice long body. Exhale from your hamstrings back here. Think of pulling the sit bones back down to lift your heart center up. Inhaling forward, a little press with the hands if you need the help. Exhaling up. So if that's feeling comfortable for your back, your hands can come to your hips. Inhaling forward. Exhale, sit bones pulling back, belly engaged, standing up. Nice long legs. And if that's feeling okay and you want more challenge, you can bring hands up to your head. Adds a little bit more work for the low back. If you need more challenge than that, arms can come out straight. Which adds a, definitely another layer of work for the low back. I'm going to do three more here. Keeping the belly muscles lifted, supporting the front spine. Inhaling forward. Start from those sit bones to initiate that lifting up. And one more time. Inhaling forward and exhaling up tall. So that's strengthening the back here. Also brings a lot of circulation to those muscles, helps them relax. Then we're going to go into a stretch for the front body. So the hip flexors, if they're really tight, that can pull on your spine and cause strain for the back muscles. So we're going to loosen the front hip flexor muscles up. I'm going to show the standing version first. Again, having something stable to hold on to. You're going to step back with one foot into a lunge position. So both my feet are facing forward. However, they are not on a balance beam. So they're lined up with the hip sockets or shoulder joints. So there's space between the feet. The back heel is lifted. A little bit of tuck of the buns. So there's not any compression in the low back here. And then a bend of the front knee. So you're going to feel some work in this front leg to help hold your body. And then I'm feeling the stretch on the front thigh, hip, and a little bit in the low belly on the left leg, on the back leg. So you can hold the stretch there. If you'd like to add a little extra stretch, the left arm will come up from your rib cage, not your shoulder. From the rib cage, you're going to pitch a little bit to the right. So I'm creating more space on the left side of the body here. Now I feel a little bit deeper stretch in the upper hip flexors. You can hold on for the balance. The breath flowing through and coming upright. Still holding the stretch. Another variation for increasing the hip flexor stretch is to rotate. So I've laced my fingers together. Just a gentle rotation. So my chest is just barely pointing off center. And that's going to bring all of this into a lengthened position, help it open up. The standing leg, I'm making sure my knee is still tracking over my toe. I'm not letting that twist, so it's just an upper body twist there. And then coming back to center, you can hold on, and stepping in. So for the other side, you can do that standing. I'm going to show the seated version. So in a chair that doesn't have any armrests on it, you're going to be sitting on the edge of the chair with just one hip on. This other leg is going to come behind. So now the chair is supporting. I'm not going to feel as much leg work for the front leg. And I have support for the back leg going back. 
Just sitting nice and tall. A little bit of that tuck of the buns really helps open up this joint right here. Let's those muscles lengthen through. If you'd like to add that side bend, one hand on the chair for support. And then from your rib cage, tipping a little bit towards the left. So I'm increasing this space. No tension here, it's real soft. Just tipping a little bit to the side. And then coming up to center, hands can lace together. And then you can gently rotate to the left. If you'd like to hold on to the chair for a little extra support, you can do that. And this diagonal stretch through the hip flexor will release that muscle a little bit more. And then returning back to center. Thank you.